This is the free version of Video Leap. If I want to use the freeze video feature like this, you can see that I can try it, but when I go to export the video, I'll have to pay for it. After I tap on export, this is what I see. Here's a workaround that allows you to use the feature for free. The first thing I'm going to do is add my video clip. I came up with this idea while working in LumaFusion, which does not have a dedicated option to freeze video. I'll tap on it and then tap add to project. Then I need to scrub forward to the point where the person can be seen walking through my shot. I'm going to freeze the video at this point so that you don't see the person walking through the shot. When I arrive at that exact point, I'll scrub back a bit to just before it starts to happen, then I'll select the clip and tap the split icon. Then I'll scrub ahead to where the person disappears from the screen, select the clip once more, and then tap the split icon a second time. The next thing I need to do is scrub back to just before the person appears on screen again and take a screenshot using my iPhone. As you can see, the person is not in the shot at this point. And now I'll edit the screenshot by pulling up the screenshot editor. Use the crop handles to crop your screenshot down to just the edges of your video. Essentially, I'm making a still image of this one point in time. When you're done, tap Done and then tap Save to Photos. Now I need to scrub to the first transition point. I'm going to add the picture in a layer above the video. Tap Mixer from the main toolbar. So I'll select the photo that I just cropped. The reason I split the clip is so that I can use the transition points as markers. As you can see, this photo needs to be longer. Let me show you what happens when your photo is too short. The picture appears on top of the video and you can still see the person walk through. With the photo selected, I need to tap on transform and then tap on fill. This will allow the photo to fill the entire screen. The photo still isn't quite long enough, so I'll select it by tapping on the bubble thumbnail to open the photo. I'll long press on the end and then drag the photo over top of the last transition point. You might feel a slight haptic vibration as you reach the end of the clip. Now I'll scrub back a bit and play it once more. The video freezes. You're seeing the photo and you don't see the person walk through the shot. Next, export your video to make the changes permanent. The export is done. Let's have a look at the final clip. The video starts normally. Keep watching. It freezes right here. This is where the person walks through the shot. They've now disappeared off screen and the clip continues. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.